I'm going to show you how to make a cinematic ink splatter title animation using Power Director. Let's make a beautiful mess. First thing we're going to do is create our title. So we're going to go to the title room. We're going to select the default title. We're going to hold on our left mouse button and drag it down to track one. Now we're going to go ahead and double left click on this title to open up the title designer. We're going to double left click in this box and we're going to type in the text that we want. Then we'll double left click in this box again, and we're going to change our font to impact. And we're going to change our size to 88. And then we're going to center this title. We're going to place our cursor over the edge of the box until we see these crosshairs. We'll hold on our left mouse button and we'll drag the title to where we want. And then we're going to click on OK. Now we need to add the ink splatters to this. Now, I'm going to be truthful with you. I can't remember exactly where I got these ink splatters from. I used them a long time ago in a different ink splatter reveal video. You'll have to Google it uh, or look it up on YouTube. See if you can find some ink splatters of your own. I'm going to go up here to the media room. And I'm going to grab the first ink splatter, hold down my left mouse button and drag it down to the beginning of the title. Now I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to blending mode. And I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. I'm going to click on OK. Now, if we play this, it should show the letters coming onto the screen. So now we want to go ahead and do an out animation of the letters turning to black. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab another ink splatter. Hold down my left mouse button and drag it down to the end of the title. We want to use the same blending mode. So instead of going through that, I'm just going to right click on the first clip that I added the blending mode to. I'm going to go to edit clip keyframe. And I'm going to go to copy keyframe attributes. I'm going to right click on the second ink splatter that I added. I'm going to go to edit clip keyframe. And I'm going to go to paste keyframe attributes. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I'm going to click on OK. And now if I play this, you'll see the same thing happen. It'll appear with the ink splatter, but I want it to go to black, not appear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on this clip. I'm going to go to tools. And I'm going to go to video in reverse. Now what will happen is the ink splatter will actually make it fade to black. So now if we want to place this text over a video, we have to create a composition. So to do that, we're going to go up here to produce. You want to make sure that you have all the video settings that you want to use. I'm not going to go into all of that. You want to select the location where you want the title composition to be saved to. You want to give it a name. And you want to click on save. Then you want to go ahead and click on start. Once it's done, you want to go back to edit. Now we can delete all of these files off of the timeline. You can just left click anywhere on any other timeline tracks. Do control A on your keyboard and then hit delete on your keyboard and it will delete everything off of the timeline. So now we want to go ahead and place the video that we want to use on track one. We'll hold down our left mouse button over the video and drag it down to track one. And then we have our title comp that we created. 
So we're gonna left click on that one, hold on our left mouse button and drag it down to the track below it. Now, if we play this, it's just gonna be black with a black background, but we can fix that. All we need to do is left click on this clip, go to tools, blending mode. And for this one, we're gonna use screen. And we'll click on okay. I love using blending modes. They can be used to make a bunch of different effects if you know how to use them. And you can learn how by watching this tutorial. Don't forget to smash my face to subscribe, hit me up with your comments, and drop me a like down below.